Hello everyone, welcome back to DIY Geek YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to measure the power consumption of the Amazon Echo Generation 3. This is, I'm sorry, this is the Echo Dot Generation 3. So we are going to be using this device to measure the power consumption. It's called the Kilowatt. And if you want to buy any of these products, that I'm reviewing, uh, please look at the uh, link in the description. Um, please use my link, it does help my uh, channel. Appreciate it. All right, let's get going. Okay, first we are going to observe when the device is in idle or not doing anything or standby. I have been observing the power consumption here. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, somewhere around 1.4, 1.5, maximum 1.6 watt. That is the maximum I've seen, 1.6. Um, so when I call out her name, and you know what I'm saying, that A word, um, the power consumption is gonna increase immediately to about 1.7 usually. Um, and uh, that also proves that I don't think these devices are actually doing malicious things at the, at the background listening because at night, it's actually when it has a prolonged um, time of sleep, I've seen it go down to 1.4 watts uh, for most of the nights. Anyway, so let's let's give it a try. So I'm going to call out her name and uh, let's watch the, uh, uh, there you go, 1.4, you see that? Uh, let's watch the uh, watt meter and, and see what it does. Alexa, what time is it? It's 9.51 a.m. Okay, you see that how it spikes up to 1.8 when when she is listening and it goes all the way to 2 and 2.3 even I think uh, it's at the peak when she was speaking and, and giving answers so she has to communicate with the cloud uh, get answers she has to send actually my voice to the cloud um, and then the, the cloud is going to decipher it and then send the answer back to her and uh, she and then she has to uh, basically um, report it out or say it out loud yeah so that's the reason why I don't think these devices are actually listening or doing anything because the based on the power consumption alone at 1.5 1.6 or even 1.4 uh, as I'm talking right now is, is doing nothing um, so I'm also going to um, now measure the, the power uh, when this device is constantly working, like for example, playing music. So let's go ahead and do that. Alexa, play classical music. The station, ultimate classical, free on Amazon Music. Look at that, it jumped all the way to three. Okay. So when she was processing, it goes all the way to three something, but once the music is playing, it's actually not doing anything. Uh, I mean, it's doing something, but it's, it's coming back down to about two watts. Alexa, stop. See, even during stop mode, it goes all the way up to 2.4. Um, all right, so I am going to do one more experiment, which is basically uh, using this uh, headphone or microphone adapter here. I'm going to connect it to an amp here, an uh, external amp um, that will use this particular speaker here. And um, we are going to see if using an external uh, speaker and amplifier would actually save power um, from uh, using the internal uh, amp and speaker there. So I'm putting on the headset or headphone jack here at the back of this. And then the other side, we are going to attach it here to the amp. There it is. Okay, so now any kind of uh, sound, the microphone is still here. Um, being listened to from this device here. There are four holes here that is listening. And, uh, but the speaker is gonna be using that. So it's gonna take the 
I'm assuming it's going to take all the power um, usage out of the Echo Dot 3. All right, so right now we're at 1.5. Let's uh, tell, um, tell her to play classical music again. Alexa, play classical music. Oh, okay. It looks like we have a problem because it is not working. All right, I fixed the problem. Uh, let's try it again. So we're right now at 1.5 and 1.4. We got the uh, speaker connected to the external amplifier and then speaker. And here we go. Alexa, play classical music. The station, ultimate classical, free on Amazon Music. So it is lower. Usually at this time it will be about two. So the internal amp here and speaker does take up about 0.1.2. Yeah, so you're saving a little bit of power by using external amplifier and speaker, but I'm pretty sure this guy right here, obviously, would probably takes up a few watts too. Alexa, stop. All right, so in conclusion, um, the uh, Equidot 3 uses approximately... I would say on average probably about two watts at any given time and um, when we when I multiply this with a power calculator all the way to a year how, how much does it cost for us to run this for a year it came out with a uh, dollar and about a dollar eighty cents that's based on a ten cents per kilowatt um, type of electricity cost I'm not sure uh, how much does your electric electricity cost in your area, but uh, my area is somewhere between um, 10 to 15. I'm just using 10 here, and it costs a dollar 80 cents per year to operate the Echo Dot 3, plugged in and use once in a while, but plugged in all the time, uh, for sure. All right, well, um, that concludes my video. I hope that you have found this video useful. If you are wondering or curious about um, how, how, many, how much power and how much does it cost to run this device year long, and uh, I certainly was. If you find this video uh, useful, please give it a like and share it with your friends um, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching, bye. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel to see more do-it-yourself video like these and support my channel. Thank you.